Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2018. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. And you know what? I know I always say it's an amazing month. And that's because any moment can be amazing. Any month can be amazing. But then you get months like this where it's big, like it's big, amazing. It's big, amazing for the collective. It's amazing for you in particular, personally. There are big moves happening in the sky now that I think you are going to love. There is an energy of freedom coming in, an energy of healing coming in, and an energy of empowerment. So let's take it one at a time. I want to start with Chiron. Now, late last month, Chiron changed signs. Now, Chiron is an asteroid. It is an energy that has to do with healing and profound healing at that. Putting the baggage down, right? Ultimately putting down our old wounds and knowing that we can be better. We can be better today. We can be more deeply healed today, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. We can empower ourselves. Well, what is happening this month or what happened late last month rather is that Chiron changed signs. Now it's just for a few months late this year, Chiron will retrograde back and then next year will make a little bit more of a permanent move for the next few years. And this is into a part of the sky for you that has to do with your workplace, your coworkers, your immediate supervisors, your clients, your customers, the type of work you're doing, and also your health, like how well you are taking care of yourself. And so a couple of things I'm seeing here. One is you may very well be called to bring a healing presence to your workplace. Now, some of you may actually find new work in a healing profession. I know that's a broad umbrella, but really any healing profession, you may find yourself whether pursuing work or finding work in that realm, but also you may attract coworkers and people around you who act as healers in your life, whether directly or indirectly, or you have to bring a healing energy to them. At the same time, this is about you healing deeply, so emotionally and physically as well, feeling a sense of wanting to know that you've addressed whatever emotional or spiritual or physical, uh, and to change in a way that truly is meaningful to you. So that is gonna become more of a focus as well. Now, this is energy that, as I said, you'll dip into a little bit and then you will uh, go back to where Chiron has been moving through for the last few years, which is a part of the sky that has had to do with matters of heart and flirtation. And so it might have felt like as you were flirting with other people, uh, you kind of had to like be aware of how you had to be a healer to them or they had to be a healer to you or where it is that uh, love or new love in particular made you aware of where healing needed to take place within you. Well, flirtation is going to get a lot easier, let me tell you, once Chiron leaves that part of the sky and is in this new part of the sky. Now, the other big thing, also speaking to matters of love, I'm not done with talking about love because love is big this month. It starts being big, that's for sure. And that is because we have not only a new moon in your opposite sign, which happens like once a year, and it's a positively aspected new moon, which means it's speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto, speaking in harmony with Mars as well. So there's lots of very strong, passionate energy with this, and it's new opportunities and a new beginning as well. But on the same day, I mean, sometimes the universe is so uncanny, it's just amazing, but on the same day, we are also going to have Uranus move into this part of the sky. Now, like Chiron, it'll be a few months in your opposite sign, we'll retrograde out later in the year, and then we'll come back uh, to this part of the sky for a nice long stay. So the better part of the next seven years, Uranus moving through your opposite sign. This is going to change the way that you understand partnerships, and relationships. This is going to change the way that you understand what love is. And ultimately what Uranus does is it asks you to evolve your understanding of love so that there's a sense of mutual respect between you and your partner. Now, if you're someone who's open to meeting someone new, look, just that new moon in your opposite sign 
allows a space in which someone new can enter because at the very least when a new moon is in your opposite sign it tends to suggest that some of the more important learning you're going to do at this moment is going to come through another person through relating to another person so it does look like this month absolutely someone new may present themselves so that you can see where you are in love and how you feel about it now with Uranus there, this adds this whole other element of, you know, types of people that you just maybe never have dated before, found yourself attracted to before, interacted with even before, uh, someone who represents something very different. So whether it's a different uh, gender, different race, different religion, different way of looking at the world, like these are the types of scenarios that can happen with Uranus in your opposite sign. Now, if you are in an established bond, that sense of mutual respect becomes that much higher, that desire to have somebody who you feel is not necessarily like you are responsible for them and they are responsible for you, but rather you have this appreciation of how they are facilitating and you are facilitating each other's spiritual growth, but you're not responsible for it. And so this is gonna allow you to consider what relationship you have and if it truly feels like it's the right authentic relationship for you and to consider how it needs to evolve but at the very least this is going to be a fresh start this month where it comes to your relationship now the other big thing if all that wasn't enough the other big thing happening this month is that mars will enter shadow mars is your ancient ruling planet so what mars does means that much more to you because it is your representation in the sky one of your representations pluto being the other and with Mars entering shadow in this rare upcoming retrograde phase, well, it tells me that you are entering a period of some deeper contemplation within you and some deeper understanding of yourself. Now, this is going to come through a few different areas, okay? Uh, one area that Mars is going to be in shadow in this month is a part of the sky that has to do with communication. Uh, it has to do with your voice and your expression in the world. And it has to do with your relationship with your siblings, cousins, and neighbors. So do watch what happens this month with these people in particular. And I would also add, because a part of this retrograde season, which you'll feel this month as well, has to do with what's happening at home, like your family of origin, but also where it is that you live. So chances are you're gonna have to start spending a lot more time at home, whether it is you know considering a home-based business or just wanting that space to yourself. And because this covers family of origin and like siblings and cousins are family of origin, it just tells me that this focus on family is gonna be that much more important. So do pay attention to what happens this month in particular. Chances are whatever issues uh, whatever conversations whatever considerations arise now you will be returning to them in the weeks and months ahead now finally a full moon in the later part of the month as we get to the end of the month there will be a full moon taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money you spend and money that you earn self-worth and self-esteem all covered by this part of the sky that mars is speaking in harmony with this full moon so it does tell me that some positive developments are taking place empowering developments at that on the financial front what i love about this month for you is that there's so much that is happening in your life but it is intimately connected to you that really is thanks to that mars retrograde season and yes these big moves are happening in the sky right work moves and the relationship moves and then there's you there's you finding your voice within it and finding your power well i've got a lot more to tell you because all these big moves that are happening this month well i've created special horoscopes on my website that you can download now by going to nadiashaw.com now if you are a superstar you get unlimited access to the all the special horoscopes i put out you get exclusive expanded video scopes each and every week a video like this each and every week imagine that and so much more all of this in the superstar space I look forward to meeting you there at astrofabulous.com. Well, thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.